So here's what we're going to be installing today. It's our new BJ's Off-Road Radiator for the AMC V8. And one thing you want to make sure of is on the threads down in the bottom ports for the transmission cooler, strip threads do void the warranty, so make sure that you're very careful with that. And when you receive the radiator inside the box will be a big green sticker saying that an installation kit is included in the bottom right corner. A lot of times people contact us because they can't seem to find that. Here's where it is. It's these little brass fittings, and those are typically on the bottom of this spray insulation pack. Now what we're also going to be installing is the bypass hose, the upper radiator hose, and the lower radiator hose, as well as our Robert Shaw thermostat and the new safety style radiator cap. So after you've removed the thermostat housing and the old thermostat, I like to put something inside of the opening to make sure no debris falls in. And then you're going to take the thermostat housing and you're going to remove all of the old gasket, which on this one you can see is pretty well glued to it. And then you're also going to take a razor blade and gently scrape this and make sure you get rid of all the old gasket material off of the intake manifold. And here we're going to install our Robert Shaw thermostat. Always make sure to install it with the pointy end facing up. And there's a little recess inside of the intake manifold, which you can see here, going all the way around. And it should fit snugly inside of that area. So as you can see now, it's inside of here, it's not moving. Now we're going to install our BJ's Off-Road thermostat housing gasket. And I like to install that dry without any RTV. And the reason being RTV and other liquid gasket materials can squeeze out and actually clog part of your thermostat and keep it from opening. And then the last step is to install the housing itself and you can see here we cleaned it off. I used a razor blade very gently because this is a cast pot metal type material and you want to make sure not to gouge anything and simply set it down and line it up making sure that the gasket doesn't move. Now you want to get one bolt started, make sure that the gasket is lined up, and you want to go ahead and start the second bolt, and then as you're tightening down, one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure to look from the front side down here by the bypass, and just make sure that that gasket is fully centered. Now the gasket has slots where the bolts go, and that allows you to adjust it left to right. And you want to make sure that you're not shifted off to one side too much or the other. You can see here I just pushed it out, and you can see the material sticking there. So what you want to do is get in there with your fingers, and gently slide it back until it is perfectly centered. Now something to mention here 
And you want to be very careful when tightening these down to not over tighten them because these housings are a cast material and they're not very strong. And if you over torque the bolts, you will actually crack the housing or you can strip the aluminum intake. So make sure to be very cautious. Okay, the next step is going to be to install the VJ's Off-Road Bypass Hose for the AMC V8. And here's what it looks like. And if you look at it, one end is shorter than the other when it's bent into the U-shape. The shorter end always goes to the thermostat housing bypass port. The longer end goes down here to the water pump port. You can see that just barely at the bottom of the screen. Now, I like to take both of the clamps and just ever so gently tighten them on the top. That way they're not falling off or getting forgotten. So when I install the end on the water pump first, and once that's installed, then I go to the thermostat housing end. Make sure it is all the way down and fully seated on both ends. All right, once you get everything where it needs to be, I like to use a quarter inch drive ratchet set with a 5 16 inch socket. And I come in from underneath. Seems to be just the easiest place to locate the hose clamp and to have decent access. And I prefer to use the ratchet set instead of a screwdriver. You just get a more positive engagement, less chances of it slipping off and damaging it. And the hose clamps that we're using are the BJ's Off-Road Made in the USA hose clamps. Much better than the cheap Chinese junk. They don't strip like those other ones do. So now it's time to go ahead and put the other hose clamp in. And then the next step will be to go ahead and reinstall the radiator and the fan shroud and then we'll hook up the hoses for the upper inlet and the bottom outlet. And I like to get one bolt started on the top and then I get the other bolt started and then I work my way around. That way you're not trying to fight it the whole time. Make sure to leave one of them loose though. Okay, now that we got the radiator and shroud installed, the next step will be to install the upper and lower radiator hoses. On the lower radiator hose, we already installed it on the engine side and just left it loose just because it makes it easier once you have the radiator out. And here we have the BJ's Off-Road upper radiator hose for the AMC V8. And as you can see, we also have the made in the USA hose clamps. They're much better quality than the cheap Chinese junk most places will try and sell you. So you slide one end over the water neck until it's fully seated. And then the other end just goes right on top of the radiator itself. And that's all you need. And you can also see that it has quite a good gap here, which is what the proper radiator hose, the proper molded style radiator hose will have. There's a lot of other hoses out on the market that are just universal or they're made by you know, cheap companies that will actually come up here and they'll actually make contact with your AC compressor which you absolutely do not want because over time that is going to rub and it is going to wear a hole in it. And here is how we install the hose clamp on the water neck side, which is the thermostat housing.
Now on the lower radiator hose on the engine side, you don't really have a lot of room to work with. Um, so I orient mine this way where I have the screw head on the right hand side. And then instead of using a screwdriver, again, I use a 5 16 inch socket on a little quarter inch drive with an extension. Just tends to make a lot more positive engagement. Okay, so now we have the new radiator in. We have the shroud put back on. We have the upper radiator hose, lower radiator hose, and the bypass hose all installed, all with new hose clamps. We also have the thermostat housing reinstalled with a new Robert Shaw thermostat and new gasket. And so the last couple of things are you need to make sure to remember to reconnect your overflow hose, which that just goes on this nipple and you just push it on and make sure it's in good condition. And then the other thing is we are installing our safety style radiator cap and this one is a 16 pound cap and it has a safety latch to allow it to bleed off pressure as needed. And so then the last step will be to go ahead and add our mixture of coolant and distilled water and then reinstall our radiator safety cap and that's it. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions please feel free to contact us at bjsoffroad.com.